Hello and welcome to another tutorial from MoFi Network. Today we are going to show you how to perform recovery on the MoFi 4500 routers. Now you perform recovery only when your router has a problem that cannot be troubleshooted or you're unable to log into the router or there is some sort of a problem that cannot be fixed from the admin control panel or the portal of the MoFi router. That's when you do the recovery thing. So first thing first, uh, we're gonna tell you what you're gonna need in order to do the recovery. Number one, you're gonna need the MoFi router itself. Secondly, you're gonna need a computer with an ethernet port on it. So if you have a laptop or a computer that does not have an ethernet port, you will not be able to follow this tutorial or you will not be able to do the MoFi recovery. Third, you're gonna need an internet connection beforehand in order to download the latest firmware on your computer. We are gonna need an ethernet cable, and you might need a pen or a clip in order to press the reset button at the back of the MoFi router later on. If we have all of this, let's get started with our tutorial. So before we begin, we will need to download the latest firmware of the MoFi router. To do that, we want to make sure that our computer has an internet connection, a working internet connection, which mine does, and then we want to open up a browser uh, and go to our website, mofinetwork.com. So go to www.mofinetwork.com. So step one would be downloading the latest firmware. So hover over to support and then click on download. As this tutorial is about the V2 router, we're gonna click on the MoFi 4500 V2 download. And now depending on what firmware version your router requires, you're gonna download that firmware. For this one, we're just gonna download the standard firmware. So click here to save the firmware 3.8.6 standard. Now, as of today, that's the latest firmware. This might be different depending on when you're watching this video. All right, now that we have completed the download of our latest firmware, we want to prepare our router for the recovery. So that would mean taking the router into the recovery mode. So let's see how to take the router into the recovery mode. Okay, so first we want to make sure that nothing is connected at the back of the MoFi router except for the power cord. And then what we are going to do is unplug the power cord from the back of the MoFi router. And then you should be able to see a little reset button. It should be right here. Okay, so this is the reset button of the MoFi router. You will need to press and hold this reset button and then plug in the power cord while you press and hold that. So you can use a pen or a clip, anything in order to press that. I'm just gonna use a pen. So I'm just gonna press and hold this button right now. So while you press and hold the reset button at the back of the router, you will need to plug in the power cord. So this is the power cord of the router. You wanna plug this one in at the back of the router while you have the reset button pressed. So I'm just gonna press and hold the reset button. And while I press and hold the reset button, I will plug in the power cord. And after 10 seconds, I'm gonna release this reset button. After we release this button, we will see that the Wi-Fi light in the router, which is the third light from the left, uh, started flashing and started flashing really fast. So this confirms that we are in recovery mode. So now we can proceed with our other steps. All right, if we are done with step two, which is preparing our router for the recovery, putting the router into the recovery mode, we wanna to move to step three. That is preparing our computer in order to load up the recovery portal of the MoFi router. To do that, first we want to go to control panel. Now you could go it in several ways. 
Um, what we what you can do is you can hit the Windows key on your keyboard and search for control panel and then hit enter. This will take you to the control panel section. You want to go to network and internet. You then want to go to network and sharing center. And then from the left task pane, you want to click on change adapter settings. At this point, the, the MoFi router should be in recovery mode and you should have an Ethernet cord going from the LAN 1 of the MoFi router into the Ethernet port of your computer. As you can see, I have something in the Ethernet port of my computer. It says it is unidentified network. The reason is because the MoFi is in recovery mode and that's fine. So we're gonna right click on the Ethernet connection where our MoFi router is and then we wanna go to properties. And then you wanna click on Internet Protocol version 4. Just click on it as such that you're selecting it and then hit on properties. In the next screen, you should have something like, like opt-in and IP address automatically. You wanna change that to use the following IP address. So you wanna type in 192.168.1.7 for your IP address. For the subnet mask, you wanna select 255, 255, 255 zero and for the default gateway you want to select 192.168.1.1 so once you do that hit ok and then hit close you want to keep this one because we want to come to this portal again so just I'll, I'll just minimize it and then you want to open up another tab in your computer and then you want to go to 192.168. remember 1.1 that is the recovery portal of the MoFi router. So there you go. You have the firmware recovery mode. We wanna check this warning which says, upload wrong firmware file may break your device. And that is correct. So you wanna make sure you're doing the correct file uh, for the recovery. Now click on browse and then let's go to and select the file that we downloaded which is this bin file. So I'll just double click on it and then hit submit and flashing. And we're gonna see a countdown timer telling us how long it's gonna take. Well, actually the router will go through several power cycles. So this might take somewhere around three to five minutes. So just sit back and relax, let the router do what it does. And after the whole process is done, the power light, which is the light on the very left and the router will come back on solid green. So I'll be back with you once the whole process is done. All right, it looks like upgrade done. Now there are a few things to do at this point though. Uh, we need to change our adapter settings that we changed earlier on to put our computer in static mode. So we wanna go back to the control panel settings that we minimized, right click on the ethernet again, and then go to properties. And similar place, click on Internet Protocol version 4, and then Properties, and then change back to obtain an IP address automatically, hit OK, and we'll just exit out of this place, close this, and just cl let's close that one too. And now what we're going to do is we want to make sure that our computer is connected to the MoFi router this time. So we'll just pull up the Wi-Fi list on our computer and then we should be able to see the MoFi network. Uh, usually the default name appears like MoFi network ABC, something like that. And there you go, MoFi network A20. So we will need to connect to that one. Now that we're connected, we could go and visit the portal of the MoFi router and check it for ourselves. Log in using the admin password and then we can check the status that what firmware version are we actually on click on status and yes this is the firmware version that we downloaded 3.8.6 so there you go everything is perfect the recovery went successful and you should be able to do it too if you just follow the tutorial perfectly have a great day bye bye